Hello, everyone, and welcome to... <laughs> I already see one major change. Hi, Danny. Hello. Uh, yeah, so this is why I wanted you... This was one of the big reasons why I... I, I mentioned a couple of reasons why I made Vanessa... Like, I just altered Vanessa a bunch and eventually made her a flyer. This is one of the big reasons. Um, I thought you would definitely need a flyer to rescue Erica, and I didn't want to hamstring you because oh. um, you probably also want a flyer near Ephraim. It's all desert. If I, From what I remember, this part isn't usually desert. Like, this part's, like, just sand or whatever. And there's, like, two... There's a tree yeah, right here. I, I have altered... The, I've geoformed the desert a bit as well. I also see a cliff right here that's not usually here. Yup, that, that is another that is another new addition. So, how scary are you again? <laughs> okay, he's not that scary. Yeah, I mean, I could have been I could have been extra evil and given him a sword reaver instead of the dragon axe he has, yeah. but So, which squad um, do I want to look at first, the Kalek or the Vulture squad? I think we're going to look at Kalek first cuz they usually fight Kalek first. Okay, Kalek's still looking pretty normal. I'm sure his Hoplon guard definitely works. Yeah, no, this time it'll work. Okay. The Hoplon guard has the enemy only effect. <laughs> it only works for them. <laughs> so all the enemy placement and stuff still looks pretty normal. Yeah, I other didn't fuck too much with that. You than... can steal that guy to Yeah, we can steal really the guy to Steal a bullion. Scan through the enemies, make sure there's nothing hiding in here somewhere. Okay, so they're dropping. Yeah, the I like didn't. Usual. I didn't put uh, seven on homeless swordmasters that you had no idea about. Oh, uh, I really like how technically if, them. if you could make this trooper or break the men's staff, the sleep would become droppable. But like, <laughs> Ooh. wait, no. But here's the thing: is because it's a route map, you can kill everyone but the two troubadours, and then have Amelia chip one of the troubadours <laughs> down, and the other one breaks the men's. Yeah. And that's both how you train Amelia and how you get that. This is actually Optimal. so big brain. Like, like I don't, I don't know if you understand what you just did, Jacob. But I need to go play Sacred Stones. I can't co-comment anymore. I need to go play Sacred Stones. <laughs> so the real question is, do I have someone better than Amelia to field here? And I think the answer is no. Besides, like Cole, my guess to grab treasure, or Seth to be a body. Like, well, you feel, you here's the start thing, training him. is that you've been training Amelia, which is one of the more YouTuber things to do. So I say keep training Amelia. Yeah? We'll keep training her even though she's level 20. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Of training. Well, give her a Tellius promotion, obviously. Just promote her at 21. Also, we're promoting this guy. Wait, give her, use the Regin Leaf to promote her. True! Wait. <laughs> the Regin Leaf now has the Nightcrest ability. <laughs> I can't believe I gaslamped you. I knew if I didn't check it would be true, so I just had to go for it. Okay, so here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh -huh. Um, training Amelia very YouTuber pilled. Using Amelia to kill enemies despite the fact she gets no experience, comment baiting. Yes, because think of all the wasted and EXP. That boosts you in the algorithm. You got a big brain. This shit. Also, I think I've said in previous videos, Wyvern Knight's better, but I think Wyvern Lord looks cooler, so I think we're going to pick it. I think that um, if Weapon Triangle were more important, that would be nice. Yeah. You really just want the speed boost that comes with Wyvern Knight, and the Pierce is, like, fine. Kind of cool. Yeah, although your Cormag speed is actually pretty decent. Woo, Sword Access! Like, Cormag definitely appreciates the speed boost, um, but I don't think he needs Wyvern as much as Tana and Vanessa do. Also, God Ascends. No, I know, do I know, Warrior. I know do Warrior. Retweet of Warrior. Retweet of Warrior. Retweet of Warrior. We'll have Retweet a of Warrior. Run where we use Warrior. Only if everyone goes and Googles what the Garcia cipher art looks like now. Okay, I'm about to do that. Garcia. You have to look up the Garcia cipher art. Or I could, uh, like, well, I looked up Garcia Cipher and I got songs. Interesting. Oh, oh, that's why you can't. Ooh, use the sword. okay, I found. Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. See, it's so good. 
Wait, I don't have any iron bows. Because they don't exist. <laughs> You're an actual menace. <laughs> Maybe you should uh, rethink your decision. Arm scroll. We will just arm scroll, scroll Garcia him. instead of Seb. God, that is such cool art. Oh, it is. Uh, maybe I'll just remember it's to edit it on screen so or something, cool. which means I actually won't remember to. But maybe I'll remember to like put it up on screen <laughs> and show it off to people. You know what? Screw it. Um. What? Who are we giving the energy ring to? The correct answer is Marissa, but who are we giving it to? Uh, how fast is Marissa? Uh, like my fastest. Yeah, I think unit. Marissa is genuinely the best, the best one. Either that or Naomi for warp range. That's true. That's a sentence that came out of my mouth. Has she hit S staffs yet? Nope, she's getting there. She's a A and some change. Yeah, she's like a fifth of the way through A. Yeah, okay. I mean, you've got Physic and Barrier. She should probably make it there, like, by the time you need Warp next map. She'll be fine. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Okay, get up and away from this guy, please. Um, many things. Okay, I trust she'll just dodge this guy. Look at Sale go. I think this is a pretty good unit. I don't know about you. No, I really like Saleh. Look at Joshua go. I like this unit, but... I think Joshua, the more I... As I, like... Have you seen the... The, um... The meme that's, like, the arc? The sort of bell curve thing? And it's, like, the oh, bottom is curve. Joshua... <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I love bell curves. Uh, uh, so the bottom was Joshua's bad because no horse, no one G range. Um, and then the middle, or no, 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 sorry, the bottom is Joshua is great because he kills everything, and then the middle was Joshua's bad because no swords and no one G range, and then the top was. Joshua is good because his combat stats are incredibly high for no in or his combat stats are incredibly competent for no investment. Yeah. Like he and I think that's something on. that like the more I like look into trying to figure out stuff about the Fire Emblem meta, right? Uh-huh. Um the more I think GBA Myrmidons are kind of dismissed out of hand unfairly. Even Giuseppe, or Guy, who I think is, like, probably the worst of them. Really good combat when you don't have many people with good combat. Like, you have Marcus and Oswin, and, like, that's all you need, but he's gonna be your third best for a while, at least, and, like... Yeah, killing it Just because Marcus like... and Oswin are all you meet, need doesn't mean you only use them. Like, killing it Geet does stuff for three maps. Like, mm -hmm. he's awesome for those couple of maps where he won around stuff with the Killing Edge. And then you kind of get to the point of the game where, like, you just want to use, like, javelins and hand axes at one two range. But until you get to that point, yeah, it's very much appreciated to have someone who can just delete an enemy. Well, and also because I think early on, there's a large number of enemies that don't have one two range. Yeah. And so GBA Myrmidons end up fulfilling that role of, like, um... The game's not I very hate using yet. the term like mini Jagan. Um, but they do sort of slot into that like they're good for a while and then they circumstances make them not good. They're good early game until you can find like better units to fill their role. Mm -hmm. With the exception of Rutger, who like always probably keeps up even if he's not your best unit for the whole game. Also like, Rutger is more he's carried by hard mode bonuses just being cracked and also swords being very good. Mm-hmm. But uh, even like in FE1, I think the mercenaries, Ogma and Nabarl, are quite good. Oh, yeah. Just because mercenaries are a good class to be in and swords are good. Swords are also just good in FE1. Just lightweight. There's not a lot of one-two-ring spam. Mm -hmm. And the fact that like silver swords are just 
better than Silver Lances in every way. <laughs> I think it's funny how swords are kind of like the de facto best weapon in Fire Emblems 1 through 6. Um, and then 7 comes around and they suddenly become arguably the worst. Uh, I, I, I mean, bows are definitely worse than them in 7 and 8 and 9. But like, <laughs> eventually it gets to a point. Oh yeah, did you notice the other evil change? He's moving. <laughs> yeah, he's not the only one. Uh, okay, you're not. So, you're um, not moving yet. I imagine it's like two turn AI. I, I will. No, uh, it, I think it's a fifty percent. It might be two turn. I think it's a fifty percent chance. Yikes. Like you can set uh, you can set them to have odds, and I was like, there's no way I'm not setting them to have odds. Okay, this just got a little bit more terrifying, but why does it work for him? <laughs> Wait, why does it work for him? Why does it work on him? Wait, hey, why does it? Genuinely, why does it? It's... I didn't do that. That wasn't on purpose. Danny, you're so mean. I hope you know that. No, no, I'm, I'm not joking. I don't know what's going on. I genuinely don't. <laughs> The, okay, I'm going to be honest, this sounds like Conquest shenanigans. Like, the enemy gets the cool crit blocker, but, like... It's almost this like wasn't this... on purpose, I swear. This wasn't <laughs> on purpose, I swear. But also, I'm gonna push back against that. I actually think Conquest making some of the powerful tools enemy only is a good thing. Um, Like, people complain about the, the good 1-2 range weapons being enemy only, but I think that it prevents the bosses from being cheesable while also making it so that God, this is this. How is how much he's supposed to? Kill this guy now? <laughs> Wait, can you steal his hop on guard? Probably. <laughs> the wretched leaves. Okay, okay, okay. There okay, we go. Okay. The real question is, does it work in my hands now? <laughs> yeah, that's the real question. Woo! If only you had silencer. Ross does. I should have gone for a Ross kill. So yeah, fun fact, with a pair of speed wings, uh, Vernock in 0% can steal the hop on guard, which is why I figured I would ask, because like, there's a non-zero chance that he got two levels of speed, or I think he only needs one level of speed. Um, He's actually at base level right now. Really? Oh, it must be a stat roll thing then? Oh. Uh... He only has 13 speed. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the Delphi shield. Check, uh, oh, check Mr. Wyverman. Yeah, Volter, you need... Yeah, speed so he needs that. he needs a, a speed level up for that. But that's much less impactful. Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> you know what you need to do, though? Can Joshua reach? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh I wanted you to get my favorite boss conversation ever. Oh, at least that's when I was a good a kid. one. I think it's probably like. Do it, do it, do it. Remember, Longos are devil. Oh. <laughs> oh I, did not I wanted him that. to hit, but then it backfire. I can make everyone angry and feed this kill to Amelia. Give this promoted bossy XP. You genuinely Zero. might need to. Like, the only other person who can attack is Ross, and he has a shit hit True. rate. Like, I think that actually might be the correct choice. And I kind of need Ross to, like... I think Ross plus Naomi kill the mercenary, and yeah. Amelia kills Kaleg. Like, I genuinely think that's the correct choice. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, re remember to have her attack, but not counter. Also, also um, we finally got right. the Naomi palette working. Look at that. Thank you to Thick Molder, right? Was yes. that who made it? So shout out Thick Molder. Um, he's not busy building an Fun. army of ballisticians. <laughs> Here we go. Feed the promoted bossy XP to the level 20 unit. I'm, I'm training Amelia. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She'll promote off of this. See? I mean, people always tell me you just have to give her, like, boss kills to, like, get her trained up. So I'm just doing what I'm people told. People say Amelia's bad. People say Amelia's bad. But she just kills <laughs> Checkmate Kayla. liberals. <laughs> I think you might need to rescue Erica out of there. Nah, she's fine. Also, what turn does Aphrom show up? Uh, three or four. I can't remember. You should save state now that you killed Kalak, because there's some shenanigans that are going to happen when Aphrom shows up and I don't want you to game over off of them. 
noted. <laughs> Here, this is easy. What level are you? Are you 20 Just, yet? you know, trying to help you. Well, her speed is. Bonk. So she's a good bonus experience candidate. Yes. Wow. Because then she'll get strength. Let's see. Eh, she'll, she will simply dodge those. She's gamer enough to simply dodge. Look at her go. And now I get the dragon axe out of it. Oh, look at you big braining that shit. Wait, wasn't your convoy full? Uh, no, it's not full enough to do stuff like that. I got so scared. I was like, no, you gotta drop that red and leave. No. <laughs> I don't know if I'm rooting for you or against you. I think it just like changes. I thought you were on the side of comedy. Yeah, and, and but I do also feel, I don't know. I feel the obligation to help. <laughs> Sage Woo! is using light finally being useful. Yes. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about the fucking every animatome being devil. <gasps> Airing light. <laughs> now he That's can like use dummy. Sally. He can use dummy. Woo, Dummy's dummy. B. He already could use dummy. <laughs> do, it, do 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 it. 6% <laughs> crit backfire. 6% crit backfire. Okay. Uh, uh, Good job, Josh. Or Merrick, as he is more colored. I like how... He's the uh, Josh Merrick archetype. I like how Vanessa's not doing, like, awful against these guys, despite being, like, base level stats. In fact, she actually does, like, fine against the fighters. But I think I'd rather go this way. I think, if anything, this is early Pegasus propaganda and how, like... I think I gave I, her wasn't a this, uh, So one of our friends, we were watching one of our friends play FE6. And she got, like, a super strength-screwed Shauna. Yes. Who was still genuinely contributing a bunch. <laughs> Killing Kalik makes the reinforcements appear. <laughs> Wait, why is Dusel blue? Oh, I think you're playing an old version. Oh, this is tragic. Dusel's supposed to be red and Null's supposed to be green. <laughs> I won't make you replay just for that, but... No, my Silverlands! He's breaking my Silverlands! <laughs> You shouldn't have that silver lance. <laughs> well, I can't believe okay, Noel... Noel being green wouldn't have made a difference. I can't believe Noel's freaking dead. <laughs> Noel being green wouldn't have made a difference. No, Noel was not living through that. <laughs> but Dusel being red would. Um. So in a in a, I did make an update and made Dusel red and made those reinforced not show up until a turn after Ephraim does. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I love it! It's always comedy. So, here's my question, because I know in Fates, if you kill someone using, like, counter or uh, Azama's personal skill, you don't get experience for it. If someone kills themselves with Devil, do you get, a, like, if an enemy kills himself with Devil, do you get experience? I go? know in FE6 you do not, I think. Or at least I... Do you get chip experience? Or I, just no experience? I think you get miss experience. Like, it just gives ah, you one. At you. least, I've seen someone... It could be only if you don't counter you get miss experience. Because I remember seeing someone uh, kill one of the brigand... Or... What was it? In FE6, I saw someone kill the bandit boss in the desert that has the Devil Axe using Merlinus. They rigged like a Devil Axe backfire on Merlinus and Merlinus got a single mm -hmm. point of experience out of it. So an actual unit. I'm so mad that you actually get this unit. You were supposed to have to kill him with the Regin Leaf. I kinda, I'm kinda happy I have him though. Oh, I forgot I sent this stuff. <laughs> you sent the hatchet with him, the <laughs> hatchet and the Iron Axe for Dusel. So the Dusel could have used the Devil Hatchet and kill himself. <laughs> Okay. The only unit who could possibly... The only way Dusel can possibly die, even on this map. The only thing strong enough to kill Dusel is himself. 
it's just like Pent in that one video that some cool YouTuber made. <laughs> I'm so proud of that video. <laughs> that, that video got a chortle out of me, which is more than a chuckle. <laughs> I looked away for two seconds. <laughs> Double backfire! He crit backfire! <laughs> That's great, he's dead. Wait, we're playing without him? <laughs> good luck, Ephraim. Ephraim I, I have a fine. feeling... Look, Ephraim's combat's good, but it's not like... Solo this side of the map good. <laughs> Don't you know that Eframe's like the best lord in the series? Haven't you heard? I do think that the backlash against Eframe has probably gone a little too far. I can um, agree I think with that, that. I think Eframe, like, was probably overrated in the way that like Hector was overrated. Yeah, um, definitely. Because he like, was, he was when a overrated. when a unit is your lord, when a unit is your lord, I feel like you feel more positively about him, especially if you think he's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, a similar thing happens with Ike in Path of Radiance as well. Um, where, like, he was good in my run combined with, I think this unit is cool, combined with they're my lord, I have to use them every time. Yeah. Um, leads to, like, obviously this unit is strong. But, like, Ephraim, unlike Ike and Hector, who I do think Ike and Hector are actually pretty bad. Um, they're not on the same level as each other, but... I do think Ike and Hector are actually pretty bad. Um, Ephraim, I think, is quite good. Uh, even on Erica Rod, I think Ephraim is quite a good unit. Because um, I, th I think if you're, like, evaluating the units... I hate the idea of, like, evaluating them as if, we, as if you're playing both routes, because you don't do that. Mm -hmm. um, like I I've think seen... like, two separate evaluations, one for each route. Yeah, I've seen people make tier lists where it's like, you know, I'm going to split the difference between er Ephraim Route Cormag and Erica Route Cormag, and I just think that's silly because it's a unit that doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, but, like, even on Erica Route, where, like, Ephraim is missing for half of the game and he just still... gets auto-leveled, but probably not enough, he's still quite good he when still he shows back up. He still gets, like, that 5x training arc. Mm -hmm. Like... Well, and he'll get auto leveled to fifteen, like, look at basically him. for free. Because Erica and Ephraim, um, I know you know about this, but for any viewers that don't know, uh, do you want me to explain how the auto leveling works yeah. while you're killing mages? Uh, so they will get, I believe. Correct me if it's wrong, because you probably know this better than I do. But they, I wanted you to longbow for the backfire chance. <laughs> I was so hoping you would longbow. Nope. Um, they will get seven levels of auto level. Whoever you don't go with will get seven levels of auto level, but they will not go beyond level 15. So if you have Erica at level one, she'll show up at level eight if you go Ephraim route. Um, yeah, it's something like that. If you have her at level 11, then she'll show up at 15. Um, Ephraim is, I think he starts at level eight or I think seven. He's... He's so, he's... Uh, I think he's only like four. Ah. Maybe he's it's just that he gets a lot of experience in 5x and 8 yeah. in my playthroughs. But he's I find that he typically just automatically gets... Because he only needs to hit level 8 in order to get auto level to 15. Mm -hmm. And it I find that, that he almost always does. Like, he's in that early FE8 portion where you're getting a whole bunch of EXP. And you almost solo the map with him. Because, like, you're only investing into one of the calves if you're investing in one. So, one of the reasons that I made Noel green, this is completely unrelated to what we just said, but I just remembered it. One of the reasons that I made Noel green in the later updates was his inventory. Yeah, I was wondering, like... I have, a, I have to imagine his inventory was probably changed in some way. Um, it was stacked full of legendary weapons you're never gonna get. Oh, that's funny. Or, like, warp staffs or something. It was, like, it was good stuff. I think he had a couple of master seals. I don't know. This I, I so like sad. giving doomed units inventories that you would like to have. Was that to convoy or was that to drop? That was to convoy. I couldn't remember it. If... You're menuing so fast I can't tell. <laughs> I feel like I menu too fast sometimes, but then I get told that it's fine. 
I think it's fine to watch, um, but... Ow. I don't know. I, I, I am hyper-invested in how many Regin Leafs you have for no adequately explored reason. Go get him, Renok! <laughs> oh, let's see if Alter chooses violence. Ow. It might be two turn at this point. I thought it was a 50%, but he hasn't moved at all. Well, isn't he within two turns? Uh, maybe actually. He has a Wyvern Knight. He might just... Maybe he's he's he ignores all that terrain. That and we just yeah, have to watch Ethan do all this right now. God, okay. Never mind. He's in no danger whatsoever. This unit, this absolute beast of a man. <laughs> oh, he's... Uh, 18 he's, defense! He's 100% growths, remember? You made him 100 growths. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I made him the Ephraim that the story says he is. I remember now you gave him 100% growth. He has like a bajillion stats. Well, like, okay, so not only are his stats incredibly good in vanilla, but the Regent Leaf is a fucking cracked weapon. Oh, Regent Leaf is up there as like an amazing personal weapon. What do you think is the best Lord's weapon? I was actually having this conversation with another YouTuber. I actually think about that today. question a lot. Um, I think FE5 Lightbrand is up there. I think that's... <laughs> he does it for zero damage. <laughs> Devil Zero. Oh, here he comes. He's chosen violins now. Oh, Lord, he coming. Uh, yeah, I think you need to get the fuck out of there, okay? I need to leave. <laughs> but how? I just, I'm still figuring that part out. <laughs> <laughs> you tempted fate a little too long. Okay. This um, is this is what happens when we girl boss too close to the sun. Plan. We. Uh... I'm lying through my teeth. I don't have a plan. <laughs> just put E from there on the fort. I'm just gonna put E from Solve on the fort. Solve that portion. And... <laughs> Solve that part. Boosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really smooth crit animation that I feel like I never see. Just a little twirl and then boosh. Mm hmm. Just the casual. It feel it has so much personality. It feels like what Ephraim would do. Just yeah. Like, like he nope, knows he, you're dead. He knows he's about to kill. So like, why put so much effort into it? Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, the fact that she's like not getting doubled by this guy. I guess he is holding an iron blade. How close is she to getting doubled by this guy? Twelve speed. Uh... Oh, she's like. So he's a point away from doubling him, actually. Yeah, that's kind of incredible. Oh, well. Give me the not Master Seal, or give me the thing that's not going to promote my units. Do you think I wouldn't let your... Do you think I wouldn't let your mages promote? Yes. Woo! Oh, nice! Body Ring. I have no idea who I'm giving that to, but... I'll send that. Um... Ooh, I guess if everything. I think you might have to have Sale enemy phase falter, which is terrifying. 19. Well, okay, put him in a place where only the spear can reach. Yeah, but even then, nineteen. He still faces Pegasus's. He has, he has eight crit on him, and he has he only has anima now. My only light tone broke. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to like Cormac enemy phase. Him. Have you checked the shot, by the way? Oh, I haven't yet. I forgot to. Yeah, there's a uh, there's light tomes in there for you. <laughs> the nine use restore staff. Woo! That is actually a huge strat. We buy that. This is so terrifying. We go like, where can you reach? So that's the only tile where you can't get reached on. And then you have Saleh go next. Well, you can rescue her out with Cormag. Yes. Because, like, otherwise she faces four Pegasuses at Weapon Triangle Disadvantage, and her bulk relies yeah. on dodge tanking. That's actually why I... Over condition. That's why I threw the rapier in the... Oh. Convoy. So if she needs You don't have to... any Lance Reavers, do you? I don't. Uh, I wouldn't be so generous just she, to give them to you. She broke my only one. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna do something a little like that, and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna let 
I know we're delaying the inevitable, but I'm gonna let what's his face vibe for a sec. Walter? Yeah. We're going to. So if if she lives on one time. HP, that'll be so funny. Oh, it'll be hilarious. I want to delete one okay, of these guys. Okay, we're block off two at two of the Erica places, so she only faces two people, right? Yeah. One of them has well, a javelin. Well, one has a javelin. If I go here, that baits Balter, and I don't... Mm. Remember, he has a 50%, so he might not. <sighs> but if someone's in his range, he'll always move. I'm pretty mm. sure that's how it works. That sounds right. Also, gosh, I really wish my Cormac had, like, three more speed. If only there were a way you could have given him three more speed. Yeah, it sucks. Like, exactly three more speed. <laughs> that fact you have to scroll through all the Regid Leaves to get the Dragon Spear. We will grab the Dragon Lance. Absolutely peak. Absolutely peak. This is the greatest pack of all time. We'll just wait here. <gasps> Water walking! I have never walked we in this finally water found a use before. for water walking. You just have to water walk in the desert. I've also never walked off in there before. <laughs> like, why would you ever need to do that? Uh, so you can kill that Pegasus, obviously. Exactly. How does this affect the OU meta? <laughs> Ross gets bumped up three tiers. Because he can walk on this tile to kill this Pegasus. Suddenly, Ferris Seed is no longer needed. So, we're gonna run you to the right to hopefully go help. Spoilers, she probably won't. We're gonna run What you. do you mean? Assuming She's she can so get helpful, there in though. time. You know, I just remember that we were talking it's... about Lord Personals, and then Volter moved, and I got scared. Oh, yeah. Um... Uh... So, I initially said, like, Etchford from Radiant Dawn, but I think it's actually just that Ike is such a cracked unit that his personal seems better than it is. Edder's really good, and it's yeah. part of why he's so good. But, I like, was going to say, I don't remember anything super special about the Atard other than, like, he kills things. It's just really it. high might. It's just really high might and 50 durability. It just lasts um, forever and kills things. And you get two of them in, like, quick succession. Yeah. The big thing is it's really high might. Um, actually, let me pull up its might. Let me... Since we're just watching Ephraim kill stuff. Because I know... Doesn't Ike start with, like, an Iron Blade and an Atard in his starting inventory? And it's like, don't ever use the Iron Blade. Just just use the Atard. Like, it won't break uh, before it I becomes... don't remember what his starting inventory is. But I know that I usually just give him Etard, Etard, Wind Edge. And that's usually vulnerary, like vulnerary. Ephraim so the Etard is 12 might, and it's 75 hit, but Ike actually has decent hit even with the Etard. Yeah. Like, Ike is just so good. Meanwhile, the Iron Blade, just for comparison, is 10 might and 70 hit. <laughs> um, now, the Etard is 17 weight, but because strength is what offsets weight in Radiant Dawn. It doesn't matter. Uh, that doesn't matter. Like, and I'm... also, it has 10 inherent crit, so, like, that little bit of crit... Just because. Um, just because, yeah, just because there's a bonus. Just because it's um, funny. And it makes him better in, like, rigged LTC context as well, because if a weapon has a little bit of inherent crit, you can make it always crit. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the things that, like, in rigged LTCs uh, makes mages really good is Thunder has a little bit of inherent crit, so you can always rig crits. Um, in addition to, like, you know, if you're rigging, then suddenly dodge tanking is viable. Yes, because um, you can just assume you're always going to dodge. Yeah, and assume you're always going to crit. Because when I think of really good Lord Personals, the first two that always come to my mind are the Regin Leaf as one of them, but that might also be easy for him re being really good. Um, but at the same time, it's effective against a pretty common enemy type. 
and it's mm -hmm. either tied for weapon advantage or has weapon advantage over it. Like even something yeah. like the Wolf Bale, you still have to deal with sword calves in the early game that you're not going to have like fairly good hit against because there are a couple of them in like chapter 14. But the Regin Leaf just blows things up. <laughs> It's also infinite durability, and you get so many of them. Exactly. I'll never run out. Um. Uh, but no, I agree with you that, like, I do think that Ephraim would be a good lord even without the Regin Leaf. Oh, yeah. Um, but the Regin Leaf being such a busted personal weapon just makes things better. Because um, the other one that comes to mind, uh, FE5 Lightbrand, I mentioned earlier, I always think of that one when I'm thinking of, like, really good lord personals. Um, mm -hmm. 60 mm -hmm. uses, 1-2 range, can use it for, like, a full heal when you need to. Makes him a little bit of a mage in Mancer as well. Yeah, like you can you hit on Aspel. enemies. Even though he doesn't the, have the any one and magic. And a half even though he doesn't have any magic, really, it's still, like, a 12 might weapon hitting on, like, Soldier and Armor Knight's zero magic. Ooh, yeah. Be... There's a lot uh, of things over it's here. It's time to get the fuck out of here. So, how does Sale do? He doesn't. How does Dragonlance do? He doesn't. Uh... How does... Wait, how does Erica do? Uh, I'd have to kill this peg. Yeah, I was gonna say the three of them might be able to team up. God, what it, eh, he starts with a scary spear. I mean, I like it when they start with the 1-2 range equipped, because otherwise, like, if they just have 1-2 range as their second inventory mm -hmm. item, you, you can do cheese, the cheese well. where you attack, rescue, attack, rescue. It's more this I don't like. Oh, you'd rather the killer? I'd rather, the like... The crit from killer? I'd rather he didn't have 9 crit on me. <laughs> Cause, uh... I think you need to rescue Erica and then run away with Saleh and, like, pray. Yeah, I can always try to, like, swoop in with... Oh, uh, Amelia? Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That puts her there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Valter can still reach her, but she doesn't get doubled. Um, you can potentially rescue her out as well with an infantry. True. So like, if you take drop Saleh... And then rescue Amelia. Okay, I think we're gonna parting gift this enemy. Because we're running away anyways. Ooh, nice. Nice. I like how he went through all the effort for the extra rapier, and now you probably wish you had the, the convoy space. Eh, I still showed that I could do it, and that's what matters at the end of the day. It, it does, it I'm, does, it does. I'm, I'm also coping really hard right now. <laughs> I can tell, but hey, you've got plenty to cope about other than just other than just that. Okay, so this is fine. Oh, I, I should probably make sure Ephraim's gonna be all right. <laughs> For some reason, I think he'll be fine. Yeah, the, note my silence. Poke. Wait, you gave up the fort. Now the enemies can take the fort. The enemies have captured the fort. Are now they'll get terrain bonuses against against all of your stuff. The fact Vanessa is existing right now is awesome. <laughs> I think it's so funny. I envisioned her in this map being the person you used to rescue Erica around, but instead you're like, no, promoted Vanessa combat game. Yes. And honestly, I respect it. Look at this boy go. Bonk. Void. Void. <laughs> Lethality! <laughs> silencer! Lethality against an enemy that he one-shots! Yeah, Silencer. It's called Silencer in we this love game. Sorry. It. It's Lethality in, like, the modern games. Yeah. Is why I... Yeah. yeah. Fake Gamer Danny confirmed. Okay. So, only one person can actually... Well, you can't take Erica, can you? No, you can't. You can take Erica, right? You cannot. Oh wait, that's because he's holding Sale. That's right. Ugh. So here's the awkward part. I can only take one of you two off because of where I decided yeah. to place you. Well, so Cormag is only facing a Pegasus, yeah. right? Not facing Volter. 
Um, what do you have, Javelin? I think it's fine for him to get doubled by his... Wait, can they even double? Probably not. I'm used to Hector I... Ardmost the Alliance Pegasuses. They have two AS. Yeah, okay, so the answer is is take drop Sale. Yeah. Sale will also be more useful. Like, as Next much turn. as I love Erica, and I do think the Infinite Rapier has helped her. Ooh, speaking of, Rapier FE1 is probably in contention because you can buy them. Ooh, yeah, you can just buy Infinite Rapiers. And and you have the money for like it rapiers too. are really good weapon in FE one. It's not even um, it's not even it like you're making part of why for Marth it. is like it's part of why Marth is easily a top two unit, um, arguably top one depending on your perspective. It's such a spammable weapon. Like you don't really a lot of other weapons I find that I have to like do calcs, which is really hard to do in FE one. But with the FE one rapier, I'm just like I think I got to a point where I put three rapiers and a bolt sword on Marth and said, okay, that's your inventory for the rest of the game. Well, and one of the best things about it is, because FE1 doesn't have any weight offsetting, right? Yeah. Uh, rapier's one weight. Oh, wow. It is the lightest weapon in the game. Yeah, that's important. Uh, it's five It's five might, one weight, and against mounted units and armor knights, it's 15 might. Um... And for comparison, like, even against non-mounted units, it's just a better Iron Sword. Because Iron Sword is 5 might 2 weight. Rapier is 5 might 1 weight. Which, like, that 1 AS probably doesn't make a difference, but... Just the fact that even without effective damage, it is strictly better than an Iron is pretty cool. And you can buy them fairly early, too. And in, like, three different shops. It's not even, like, it's yeah, super I was... rare. I was doing an FE1 uh, remake playthrough, uh, not Shadow Dragon, like it was a ROM hack that is a remake of FE1, so it's like got all the FE1 mechanics. Interesting. Um, and I was, it was later than I remember, but I was surprised how early it was that you can get the infinite rapiers. Because think... I've, I've been kind of Minerva pilled. I think Minerva and Marth are the two that are in contention for number one. I've been kind of Minerva pilled, but I'm starting to think that at the very least they're probably equally good as each other um and it it's possible that marth is better they're very close regardless oh but, for sure yeah okay so like it really depends on how you feel about uh hash wait, wait wait you can't steal the you can't steal the thing right yeah you can't steal the thing uh one two three he doesn't have the speed four. for it oh he doesn't have the speed for it so i can't steal it Right? He's 17 face, and he. Oh, still but the Feely Shield doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed it would work on him for some reason. Yeah, because it worked on the other guy. Because <laughs> his Hoplon Guard worked. Hoplon Guard worked and mine didn't. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I genuinely. Wait, you can test the Hoplon Guard against the spear. Oh, right. Uh, who has it? You have it. Uh, I don't think I want Ranax so, to do anything see, else this turn. Check if, check if Inez, check if Inez faces correct. You can save state to test it. Oh yeah, we'll just save state. At the very least. Like, because we're experimenting. We're yeah. doing science. Dark science. It suddenly works. <laughs> what the fuck? Did you change the, did you edit I did, it? I didn't touch anything. The only thing I have done is import the palette for Naomi. I even, like, covered my screen and typed in the word Naomi to make just her show up. I'm so sad. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Fuck it, you can keep it. You can keep it. Interesting. I am so confused I right don't now. know what happened. I genuinely don't know what happened. Maybe there's two Hoplon guards in Effie Builder. I was gonna say, I almost wonder... Actually, I don't know. Uh... The problem is he dies to a pierce. What if I give, what if I give the wretch and leave a hoplon guard effect? Woo! <laughs> so that you can have gracious scrolls. Scrolls. Having multiple like hoplon guard items is so nice. I like that they're tied to the growth boosting scrolls too. So they're sort of like the push and pull of like, do I give my favoritism unit all the scrolls and make them into a super unit, or do I make my entire army immune to critical hits? Yeah, you have to decide which one's more important. And I think the truth is somewhere in the middle. Personally. Yeah, I like splitting like, them out I, I think, mostly. Um, okay, this I think is it also just shit. depends on your preference. 
It's actually 